joining me now for our daily dose of the good, the bad, and the ugly at the Olympic Games is John Crowley. Well, good. An amazing story. A young lad from Dorset watches an Arab Sheikh win gold for double trap shooting at the 204 Olympics in Athens and decides to take it up. The two eventually meet, and the Sheikh not only agrees to fund Peter Wilson, but to act as his coach. Amazing. John, Peter is now the world's number one in his field and is mm. poised to win another gold yeah, for Britain. Well, what a story. Po po poised to win a medal. I mean, this has been an on-running theme for British athletes not having enough funding. But you didn't think that you were going to get funding from a 2004 gold medal winner. But it just happens, and to, be, a, an it happens to be an Arab Sheikh who uh, he's the chairman of Dubai World which kind of controls their investment. So he, he's got a, you know, a now dollar or two to, uh, a to give to him. But basically, I mean, he used to be, you know, a fairly sh good sharpshooter himself, Sheikh Ahmed um, Al Maktoum. Um, so it's just amazing why he should decide to coach, you know, what was essentially a sort of random request, I guess, for Peter Well, Wilson. it is, is a random request, but I think he, he just convinced him with, uh, you know, his desire <coughs> for the sport. He was going to give it up after 2008, after the Beijing Olympics, and I think he made a, an appeal to him and uh, appealed to his sensibilities, and the shakes come good for him. What's interesting here as well is that all the coaching has taken place over the phone. I mean, because you know, yeah. the, the shakes in the United Arab Emirates, Emirates and Peter's in. Well, yeah. well the, the sport, we should say the sport is double trap shooting. So you would think you'd need somebody on your shoulder just to tell you, yeah, shoot for that, shoot for this. But I don't know. I, I don't know how, how they've done it over the phone, but it, it's clearly a, a sweet, inspirational story. So wait, everybody will wait and see exactly how Peter actually does when he takes part. The bad story. Everyone's in town for the Olympics, even the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Apparently he's been taken to the judo by David Cameron. Yeah, he's, he, he's due to be taken today uh, t to the judo by uh, the Prime Minister. Let's uh, remember uh, Mr. Putin is a black belt uh, holder in judo and takes a very keen interest in all kinds of sports. He's uh, any excuse needed for him just to show off his chest and I was kind just of. Going to say he loves he loves doing this. Yeah. You know, he, he loves going around having photographs of himself bare chested. It's a very carefully kind of choreographed image that of he course. likes that he likes to cultivate as this kind of sh a strong man of I Russia. Wonder, I wonder if they're photoshopped. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, he, he, I wouldn't like to comment what his body <laughs> looks like, but it looks in well, it looks in fairly good shape to me. So I what, think he looks after what, himself. What is astonishing, though, when you stop and think about it, could you just imagine David Cameron? Or, yeah, or stripping Palmer, off to the waist, or Francois Hollande, and it. stripping off to the waist, and yeah, distributing the photographs. I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm not just, too sure if that's an image that we want to put in people's uh, really heads. To go to town. Okay, the ugly. Well, I'll leave you with that one. It's interesting. Well, it's it's Bradley Wiggins. You know, Bradley Wiggins. You know, nation. The British nation rejoiced yesterday when uh, he won his cycling gold. But a slightly, you know, jarring note was struck in the medals awards ceremony when he was kind of placed on the throne. Uh, this was at Hampton Court Palace. This is a former demesne of King Henry VIII. And someone, we don't know, they came up. To, decided to go to town here. Decided to go to town and, Little you know, bling. place him on the throne. And he, he flashed a V for victory sign, but he looked incredibly uncomfortable there. And uh, for people who don't know, Bradley, he, he's a bit of a mod, he's a bit of a dude, and he's not kind of a, a, kind of a flash Harry. Just, just, so that, just so that our readers realise how much of a dude he is, he's famous for his sideburns. sideburns yeah. Now, the newspapers yesterday actually gave you cut-out ones that you could wear. Uh, John was going to model them for us, but then decided against it. <laughs> Not very good at this. Sorry, John, go ahead. Tell us more about Well, he, he, he just, as I said, he just sat there, flashed the uh, V for Victory sign, but then he, he, he just walked away straight away. And uh, he, he, he said afterwards that, you know, he, he wanted to go and kind of meet the crowds. They were the real people outside who, incidentally, weren't let into to Hampton Court to, to watch him get his medal. Um, there's been talk of night, nighters Nighters, as yeah. well. And he said, well, you know, he doesn't want that. He'd, he'd, kind, he'd rather put the, you know, the, the certificate or medal in, in his drawer. And I just think that the crown kind of sits uneasily on his head a little bit. And he, he's this complete national hero. He's just won the Tour de, de France as well. And Absolutely. everyone just wants a piece of him. Because he's had and four gold medals now, four medals, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah. Basically, not in this Olympics, but no, overall. Not, yeah, uh, overall. And he's, <coughs> you know, he, he's in demand, but you know, for him, he's he, he's just a, he a cyclist just trying to do his to best. Sit in on a throne, basically. That's yeah. it. Well, you remember uh, during the Queen's 60th uh, Jubilee celebrations, there was a boat that went down the Thames, and there was two thrones for the Queen and the Duke That's of right, Edinburgh. Yeah. And she made a point of not, not actually sitting, sitting there because I think she just knew what the pictures would look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. again, sh she was quite clever. I think you know, Bradley maybe he would have thought about doing it again okay, if it's today. You heard it here first. Thrones are out of style.
John, thank you very much Pleasure. indeed. Well, we 